look at this mannequin you guys see that um, this is our ventral body cavities right and this is our thoracic cavity and this is abdominal pelvic cavity ventral body cavities and on the back you have our dorsal body cavities that include cranial and spinal um, so this is the organ uh, inside the cranial cavity that is the brain right and in the uh, vertebral cavity or spinal cavity we have spinal cord so brain and spinal cord right so now when we move back to the front to the ventral view um, so this is the cervical region over here and this is called thyroid cartilage that you need to know for your exam and this is thyroid gland inferior to the structure you can see trachea already over here right so now we are moving inside the thoracic cavity. So thoracic cavity itself is divided into mediastinum. So right here in the middle, this is called mediastinum and two plural cavities. The mediastinum is itself divided into upper mediastinum. So this part and pericardial cavity, right? So again, thoracic cavity, two plural cavities, pericardial cavity and upper mediastinum, pericardial cavity and upper mediastinum make mediastinum, right? So in this upper mediastinum, so you can see that's the trachea, right? And you see this part that is called aortic arch. So this is the major blood vessel that uh, branches from the heart, from the uh, left ventricle, and it carries oxygenated blood. To your body right so uh so you need to know this blood vessel over here that is aortic arch uh okay so this blood vessel over here this is called superior vena cava and this one is called pulmonary trunk and this is your heart right and here we have lungs if i remove the heart you can see how trachea over here bifurcates into right and left primary bronchi so you guys need to know again thyroid cartilage thyroid gland trachea right primary bronchus left primary bronchus and then they divide into the secondary bronchi so just primary primary and trachea posterior to the trachea this pipe is uh, esophagus that part of the digestive system now you also need to know this structure and this is diaphragm. So diaphragm is a skeletal muscle that separates thoracic and abdominal pelvic cavity, right? And of course, you need to know that those are lungs, right, right and left lung. So just below the um, diaphragm, we have uh, one of the biggest organs of your body, right? It's uh, actually biggest internal organ that is the liver. Um, so on the left side, this is stomach. And you see over here, this is a spleen. Um, now uh, below inferior, we have this is transverse column. Um, this is ascending column. This is descending column. And this is a small intestine. Now on the left side, you see this structure that covering um, the cavity. And this is called a greater amentum. Greater amentum. Right, so again, liver, right? stomach, uh, transverse column, ascending column, descending, spleen, small intestine, and this one is greater amentum. Um, now I can, um, if I remove, I can remove um, all of these organs so we can see what we need to know and what is located inside, right? So over here, you can see spleen better now this organ is pancreas and you can see a kidney on this side right kidney and if you remove your digestive system over here you can see a left kidney now this part right this is a, this is the first part of the small intestine that is called duodenum right so again right kidney left kidney spleen pancreas duodenum so this is our descending aorta Right, uh, I forgot to tell you, back into thoracic cavity over here, this is, uh, this is our ascending aorta, right? Oh, not this one, hold on. 
So you have, ah, no, 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 sorry. So uh, this, this is our aortic cart, right? This is our aortic cart, sorry. And this is our descending aorta. This is descending aorta going down, right? And uh, from the aortic cart, we have major ascending branches, right? But um, I will not ask you the name of these branches. So you good, you will study these branches. Um, in the next course, right? So again, this will be aortic arch, right? So aortic arch and descending aorta, and this is called thoracic aorta, and this is abdominal aorta, and it then bifurcates into right and left common iliac arteries. And this is our uh, inferior vena cava, right? So that's a superior vena cava, and this is inferior vena cava. And this part of the digestive system, that is duodenum. Now over here, if you look on the posterior side, right? So again, um, this is our ascending colon, this is descending colon, and this is a sigmoid colon. And now, so this is a part of the sigmoid colon and then goes straight down is rectum. Um, also, this little part over here is appendix appendix um, so we here we can see part of the urinary system so we already see kidneys this is right ureter this is left ureter and this one is the urinary bladder all right so that's a urinary bladder um, I think uh, well this part over here is called mesocolon and um, and I already show you uh, transverse colon. Uh, this this part over here, this is called cecum. So cecum is the first. Um, this is the first part of the large intestine, and this is where small intestine and large intestine meet. Right. So you can see small intestine meets the large intestine. So this is cecum, and what is attached to the cecum is appendix. Um, so we already showed duodenum. Then this part is a jejunum. It's number 25, and number 26 is ileum. Three parts of the small intestine. Okay, so let's review very, very quickly, right? And again, you can watch this video, and you can even, you know, make it slower or faster. So this is brain and spinal cord, right? This is our thyroid cartilage, thyroid gland, trachea. Um, in the thoracic cavity, we have heart, we have lungs, we have uh, aortic arch, we have superior vena cava, right? Um, we have uh, trachea bifurcate into right and left primary bronchi. Uh, posterior is esophagus over here, and this blood vessel is descending aorta, specifically thoracic aorta, and we have two lungs. Then we have diaphragm, and we're moving to abdominal pelvic cavity, in the abdominal pelvic cavity, we have all this um, viscera, the part of the digestive system, like liver, stomach, right? Liver, stomach. Um, this is the pancreas. This is the part of the small intestine that is uh, duodenum. Then we have jejunum. Then we have ileum. Uh, we have ascending colon with the cecum. We have transverse colon, descending colon. We have sigmoid over here and rectum. Um, we have kidneys. We have two ureters. We have urinary bladder. And this is the spleen. That is the largest organ of the lymphatic system. And this is great amentum. And um, that's, I think that's it for this model.